Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here. Day three of NAB 2015. I'm on the exhibit floor. I am here at the Amimon booth and they have a really cool new wireless system for control of uh, some drone gimbals and camera systems and also transmission of wireless video. Uh, I'm here with Nathaniel. Nathaniel, can you tell me what you guys got here and what it's capable of? Okay, so what we're introducing in this show is the Connex. The Connex is actually a wireless HD system. The Connex is a, is a system ready for drones, full HD. It will transmit full 1080p 60 um, for up to 1,000 meters if you have clear line of sight between transmitter and receiver. 1,000 meters, that's, a, that's quite a range. For, well, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so if, if you keep the antennas in the clear line of sight, it will work for 1,000 meters. And at, after 1,000 meters, it will actually tell you you're going out of range and it, it's software limited. Oh, but okay. Whenever you're within the thousand meters, you'll get crystal clear video and a very robust link. Very cool. Now you you just mentioned the antennas. Um, how many antennas do you have? Uh, I know you have antennas for the transmitter that mount actually to uh, the copter itself, yeah. and then you have some on the receiver as well. Yeah. So the, the system is a MIMO system where you have two transmitting antennas. Uh, you can see them right here. Uh, this, these antennas are mounted over the drone and connected to the air unit. That's the air unit. Okay. And the receiver unit actually has five antennas. You can see the, this is the five antennas receiving unit. And this is why it works so well. Very cool. And um, so you said it's for wireless uh, HD transmission. That's right. Uh, up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's right. Um, and the video signal is, since it's that high definition and it has the, it's so strong over that line of sight range, you can actually record off of this signal if you that's wanted right. to from a ground station, that, correct? That's, that's correct. Uh, actually, the signal is uncompressed. You get less than one millisecond of latency. So you can check it out. You can see on the screen that when I'm clicking my, my, hand, my fingers, you see it immediately. And any delay that you see is related to the camera or the screen itself, because the video is actually, uh, it was actually um, developed to have as a, an HDMI cable replacement. So right, what you're actually getting is an HDMI output from your camera to your ground unit at 1,000 meters with less than one millisecond delay. So it's basically, you can just think of it as a direct, direct It's a direct HDMI, HDMI line. That's right, that's Very what cool. it is. And um, so connectivity, uh, since we were just talking about HDMI, it has an HDMI port in for yeah. the video. Um, so you're able to connect that to whatever camera you have on your system and, and stream it directly down to your ground station, either for monitoring or, uh, or control or recording. So like you said, this is um, really designed for the UAV, UAV market. You can see that the HDMI input is connected to the camera. Okay, it's going straight into the camera. Uh, you got the 8 to 26 volt input, which is really good for, for drones because it, it takes three to six sales batteries directly from the battery. You don't need your special battery for the air unit. You have a wide range of voltages that it can handle. That's so you right. can tap into almost anything you've got on your system and it's exactly. going to be able to run and it. Exactly. And what else is, you can see that you have an S bus and a telemetry port here. Yeah. So, so actually the S bus means that using the same RF link, we're actually able to control the camera's gimbal. So that if you're a cameraman and, you ha and you're actually seeing the video, you can also control the gimbal. So Very you get cool. everything in one package in one RF. So you've, you're able to connect your ground station or your, your receiver to, uh, to your little ground station to monitor, but not only that, but you can, with, a, with another controller, you can give your cameraman full control. So he has video signal, he can be recording, and he has control exactly. over the gimbal separately so your pilot can focus just on flying. Exactly. So the pilot has one RC unit to control the, uh, the drone, and the camera guy has a, has a screen and his own, his own set of RC, and he controls the gimbal. Very cool. So you just... You've just tapped into the the S bus exactly. of, of the gimbal system exactly. and isolated those controls to right. the cameraman or whomever else you may want to have being yeah. able to operate it. Yeah, exactly, and, and one one thing else, the system is broadcasting, so you can actually use a single air unit to transmit to up to four receiving unit. You, you can see that live here. So this air unit, which is recording us or filming us, yeah. is connected to two receivers. You can see the receiver there on the TV, and you can okay. see one, uh, one skin over there, and you can see the, the same exact picture here. So that right now we have one to two. So we're broadcasting one transmitter 
into two receivers. And you can see that there's like no latency on. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, to, to both screens I mean, you right can away. See here. Okay, it's very sharp. It's very consistent. There's a lot of signals flying around this convention center, and you don't have any static, you don't have any dropouts, everything's holding very strong. Uh, you were talking to me about how strong it is line of sight, but we also talked a little bit about if you're not line of sight, um, there's no guarantee on the range, but no. it's a very robust system and yeah. signal, yeah. and you were saying that it, it can handle a lot that a lot of other systems might not be able to, correct? Yeah, like I told you, we, we also demonstrated uh, our unit with a UAV yesterday, and we're going to do the same tomorrow in the UAV pavilion in the in the in the live um, cage where they fly the UAV. Yeah, over in the drone pavilion. That's right. And if you go there and you see, you actually see that who's ever demonstrating live video is probably using a Connex. Okay, either using a Connex or some other product that are using our technology very because cool. our technology is very robust. That's awesome. Okay. It's using the five gigahertz unlicensed band, unlike the 2.4 gigahertz, which is much more packed because it has uh, Wi-Fi. Okay. And we also have a, an AFS mechanism, an automatic frequency selection, which actually scans all the bands, all the frequency, and chooses the most used one. So you have a robust link. And if there's interference on that, it will automatically jump in between frames to a different frequency, so you as a user get a robust link. Wow, so it's sort of making smart decisions in real time. If you're starting on the to fly. fade on one signal, it'll, it'll jump to the other That's seamlessly. Right. That's right. That's amazing. Uh, I mean, with the reliability of it, uh, you know, how well it integrates into the gimbal systems, um, and the, the fact that you have separate control and all that, it's just amazing. And you said the price of the unit uh, for a single uh, transmitter and single receiver, you said is $15.99? That's right. And you can purchase additional receivers if you want to go up to four receivers. That's right. Um, and uh, when is all this available? Well, it's available today. I mean, we, we're selling Excellent. it. Excellent. Yeah, we're selling it. Well, we have our resellers just tap into connects.amimon.com, press where to buy, and you get a reseller list. Just purchase it. Very cool. Well, there you go, guys. That's some of the newest stuff coming out of Amimon, a really reliable uh, wireless video and control solution for uh, drones and any other S-Bus controlled gimbals. Uh, very cool, Nathaniel. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys stay tuned to the channel. I got a lot more coming from NAB 2015.